Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today guys, we're going to be uh, doing a mod review of the Freightliner Caliber FL86. So we've done a live stream with the truck, the we've done a regular modded truck run with it, so now it's time for the live, the mod review. So we're going to have to go over here and turn around and we can get out of here. So we're heading up to Los Angeles. We got some vacuum cleaners. We are in... Sorry, it's already been a long day, guys. So as you see, the truck does. I don't. I think it does have an option for the GPS. Turn right. I just did not select it. We'll look at that here in a little bit. Oh man, I know it, but I can't think what the name of it is. Needs an FOB mod bad. Needs to be for supported for that. Run, but that's okay. We got we got to turn it. We got to get over. Ooh, light hit the garden tail and rear. So um, as we uh, make the, as I make this video and you guys watch it, um, SCS has announced that a couple of things. Uh, they are reworking California, which yeah, we're in California now. Fresno, the name of the yeah, that's what it is, Fresno. I had to think about it for a minute, what it was, but anyways, um, they had the rework in California. Uh, they're good, they're doing a performance update to the game. Uh, it's gonna be a new engine, something that they've been working on for a while. All that's coming. Uh, the Packard Technical Center, I believe, is what they said it's gonna be. It's gonna be implemented into the game. It's gonna be just a landmark, basically, um, somewhere up in Washington. I hope that means we'll be seeing the new trucks, the Peterbilt and the Kenmore, very soon. So they are there. They have a lot of stuff they are working on.
turn right here. Turn left. Get on the interstate. Shouldn't take as long to get there. We're hauling some vacuum cleaners today. For the crew. I don't know if this truck has crew control. There we go. I got it on now. We we'll ain't getting another thumbnail. I took one earlier, but I want to take one a little bit different for this video. Um, I'm going to have to make it more light. I have to use the mouse. I want to move it around a little bit here. I'll try to take it from this side like an angle shot here. Come on. A little bit more. I think that'd be okay. Two miles go. Being a little quiet. They're gonna think we're a drunk truck driver. Whoa, we're doing this. And that's definitely not what we're doing. Go straight. 
nice little quiet little drive, you know, heading up to Los Angeles, 138 miles to go. Really wish we could play music, but you know what happened last time we done that? Straight up. Yeah, demonetized. So we definitely can't do that. much. I mean, occasionally I'll drink one. I'm more of a Dr. Pepper person than I am a Coke. I'm not, I mean, occasionally I'll drink one because I, I may want one. But I tell you who has the best Coke. Hands down has the best taste of Coke and that's, uh, that's McDonald's. McDonald's has the best tasting Coke out there. Cruising down around, you know. I'm just kind of being quiet so you listen to the truck. The truck's running a uh, Detroit diesel. 600 horsepower. Which well, is a little bit overkill, you know, for what we're hauling, but that's okay.
think we're drunk. Well over the roof. I can't look there. That's what happens sometimes when you use a controller. on Here we are, safe and sound, and snug as a bug. All right, it's gonna be a little bit of a tough drop, but we'll, we'll get it. Show the truck. Uh, Smarty's trailer. Alright, so the best thing we can do, we're gonna have to turn around. We're gonna have to turn around right here. Go over here as close as we can over here, this wall over here, over here, over here and start making our turn. One thing we looked up with though is th this is a cab over, so we can make a little bit. Tight of turns. <clears throat> We're gonna. We ain't gonna skip no. Uh, So we drove excellent. We drove 236 miles. Took us five hours and 44 minutes. Get here, we consumed 38.5 gallons of fuel.
All right, so we'll take a look at the truck now. Let me get this out of the way so I can get to my mouse. Okay. So the dealership. That's trailer. We don't want that. Truck dealership. So the truck has been updated. Um, the author of the truck, he sent me a, he messaged me on Messenger and told me the truck had been updated after I streamed it the first time. So I streamed it again uh, after he updated it. So I want to show you a thing about the truck. So it has one sleeper, which is okay. Very well detailed truck though. It has uh, two uh, chassis options. Both medium. One of them is a painted version where it paints the chassis, same color as the truck. If it, I mean, if you want it. To me, I like to see it black. It, to me, it looks better that way. So, as far as engines go, you start anywhere from a 370 horsepower Detroit diesel all the way down to a Cummins IXX Performance 605 with 605 horsepower. That's your engines. Um, I have not seen any mod, uh, any other packs that is supporting this truck right now. So maybe that'll change. Uh, transmissions, we go from a 10 speed. Uh, that's a ratio is a um, 2.85. You got a 9 speed. That's, there's a 9 speed with a, a 4.11. Which be not much difference. Okay, the 3, 370 is a little bit different. All right, so then you have you have 11 speeds, uh, 13. There's a 13 speed with retarded Eaton Fullers, a seven speed, seven speed. Uh, they don't say automatics. I'm assuming maybe some of these may be automatics. 14 speed, 14 speed. Here, this one has a differential of a 330, a three point, a 3.36. Can't talk to there. There's one with 3.73. Uh, another th that's another 13 speed, 3.42. All right, there's a um, 18 speed, has a 3.91. That gives you uh, really good on terrain and um, heavy cargo for the truck. So the, and then the highest other transmission we have is a 18 speed no retarder of 4.11. Okay. Interior, one option, which is okay. Uh, no, uh, no custom paint job, nothing like that on the truck. The basic colors: red, white, green, gray, orange, yellow. Uh, custom colors, as you can see, you can make it any color you want it to be. Want the truck to be pink? It can be pink. Look at that. That's what you want. It'll be black. you can be black. You have metallic colors. I'm just doing this. You, know, you guys can see that it works. Actually, that don't look bad on the truck. That actually looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, basic colors for the truck. All right, so as far as your options go, um, all your customization you can do, you have um, you have a swinging tags down here. You have a swinging tag of a cat. If you have a cat engine, a swinging tag for the Detroit, uh, Detroit diesel engine, and a swinging tag for a Cummins. I turned it around a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, you have different bumpers. You have a small bumper, which doesn't really... I've seen them on these trucks, but they don't look that right. Don't look, they don't look right. Small buffer painted, a small shade bumper, a small shade painted bumper, painted bumper, an uh, angled bumper, angled bumper shaded, your standard bumper, shaded bumper. So that's all your bumpers. That's your flags for heavy hauling. You have two grill options, a shaded grill. Um, I don't think it, I don't see where it changed anything. It looks the same. Okay. 
you can fit your tag here for the front of the truck. You want to put a tag there. Up here is your your sun visor. You have quite a few options for that. You, know, you have the chrome. So you have quite a few options that you can do. It's good to see uh, it does have a little bit of option there. This is your lights for the top of the truck. Horns. Um, <clears throat> you have standard and chrome on your mirrors. Now, you do your standard mirrors. You remove your lights on your mirror, so remember that. You have standard here and chrome. This removes your lighting here if you, if you go standard. Push your lights back when you do chrome, which is uh, understandable. This makes the straps on your fuel tank. What this is, is you can do painted. That's a smaller tank. Aluminum tank. Painted tank. Chrome. And what that does. This is your pipes. One pipe. A lot of these trucks have one, so that's understandable. Alright, so this is going to be your flap cover here. Let's see. Standard. Your quarter fenders. Two options for this. Blank and we cat with a Western Star road on it. Not, not Western Star. Well, it said West Star, but it said Freight Liner on here. That's really why I said that. So you can actually change your filters here. If you want them painted, you can paint them. You can't really tell because the truck of that being that color, but they are painted. Alright, it's the interior for the truck. Uh, not really a lot. It does, it is supportive of the, um, the cab ops, the, um, SIL cab accessory pack. It is supportive of that, so that's a good thing. Sorry, I can't talk today for some reason. So you put anything there you want to. Coffee cup. It says Kenmore on it, but yeah, I'm just showing it. Put a, put a Christmas gift in the seat. That's about all you can do for that. Uh, it has no uh, no option for a GPS. Hoping maybe that will change in the future. Would like to see an option for a GPS. For the truck. I mean, they did not have them back in the day, that's true. Very understandable, but, you know, we still would like to see an option for it. So all in all, very very good looking little truck. Uh, it has a few little things. It's not a deal breaker. A few little things that I would like to see added. Um, maybe a little bit more lighting to the truck, and the, especially the GPS. The sounds are awesome. It, it's a good looking truck. Um, it's made like it's made very well. Um, but I do recommend it. Uh, I found that on ATS mod sites. Is where I got the mod from. Um, if anyone wants to use it, I recommend the truck. Um, it's a little bit basic, but that's okay. I hope there'll be more coming of it. So thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for tuning in to the channel. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.